everybody this video is gonna be about bats so if that scares you you probably don't want to watch these are the bats that was at the Battle of Musgrove Mill State Historic Site in Clinton South Carolina so you can watch if you want to if not you can just go ahead and turn the video off and skip this one but anyway if you like to watch here they come the next place where there are mama bats every once in a while the baby has gotten further away from the nest and the, from the mamas than you think because they have no nest they give birth and they hang upside down, they nurse the babies, the babies hold on. They have really, really sharp little toenails and really, really sharp little teeth. They nurse the mom, their little, their little teeth are pierced by the baby's teeth and they hang on that way, they can hang on that way while the mom is flying, so. The bats clearly want me to talk a while. When I started needing to understand what was going on on the park, because I had never, I've been a farm girl here in this community. I grew up here and I had never seen that happen, but we'd also never had bats that were in a bat house that I could watch. So the first thing that I did was, the first book that I found at the library was called The Secret Life of Bats. And it didn't tell me too much about the bats here. It tells me about bats all over the world and it's an interesting read. Um, I got my copy from the library. I've since bought a copy for myself. It is sometimes a more information than you need for here. I found help from the biology department at local colleges. Clemson has bat research and U.S. Department of Agriculture does quite a lot of, of activities and research with bats. We had hoped to do this two weeks ago, but coming next week, I have a gentleman who is bringing a recorder and he'll record at night to see what species we have here because you will notice that the ones coming off the building are huge. The ones that will come out of the woods are frequently larger. The visitor that brought me a bat was a red bat and the red bat was found on the trail. So if that happens to you and you're in a park, you get a ranger. Get a ranger. Don't pick that up and bring it in. Um, what we did for it, that was in the early days of my learning what to do, and I frantically, desperately called people and searched and looked to see what to do. And what they said do was get a tall ladder. It, a red bat lives in the trees here. See, there's still, nope, that's a bat. Keep moving on. That's a bat. So bats should happen here in the next minute or so. So, so if, it rains, if it rains for several nights in a row, they still come out. They still come out. They still come out. Okay. They still come out. They have a harder, they have a harder time finding food. They won't have as much poop the following day that they leave behind. I mean, those are just observations. So like the rains and stuff we had yesterday. Yes. That happens night after night for three nights. And they will find a break in the cloud and they will come out. Okay. They came out, they came out very late. It was too dark to see them, but we could see them in the sky. So we're losing light fast here. Um, I will say this much. I've been seeing them this week in tandem with fireflies, and I haven't seen a firefly yet either. Has, somebody has seen? Okay. Good. Good. Sometimes they're a little sensitive to, like, normally they're not people in the yard. Sometimes they're a little sensitive to that. And by that, I mean they're still going to come out, but they're going to come out a little bit later. There, there's some. There you go. So now that they're coming off the roof, which you can see, you'll see them in the sky for a few minutes. Watch the bottom of that house. There you go. Look at it, they're coming out of the room. Yeah. Do they mix with those bats out there? They are all different, different species? Yeah. No. no. They'll look for their own. Okay. Some of these are going to be 
some of these are going to be the same species. Well, I was raised on a farm. We had plenty of them back years ago. I think all this poison killed a lot of them. The poison does kill a lot of them. And then just not having a place to be, not having a place to live. I used to watch them late in the evening fly like they do with them. I used to run the Okay, so we them. still haven't seen them drop from the box. I can't see them today. About how many can live in that box? Three to four hundred by August. And so when it look, it looks like a waterfall. They just sheet out of there. A watch bad box number. A watch bad box number bull. There they go. There they go. So there they go. There they come. I don't know where to go. They're they're going straight to the river to get water. So they've been in the heat all day. There's a few that are going to come up, but the ones that dropped are dropping and they're going straight to the river. See them going into the trees there to our left? Yeah. Wow. There they come. There they come. Out of there now. Drops. I love it when they show up when they're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. They Especially come the out pretty good. Do they all leave some stay in there? No, they all leave. Okay. Those are See, so look, look, in the, look in the sky. Yeah. See what's happening oh, back yeah. there? Okay. So this is social behavior. When they go back in in the morning? They go back in in the morning about 5 or 5.30. And they stay all day too. Okay. They'll stay outside searching for food. Or they'll come up and sit on the porch or maybe other places. They have a night roost here in the porch. Here comes some more. So they, different seasons, we see different things. Well, they're dropping out of there now. They're dropping out. That we see different things in different seasons. Um, in a month and a half, all these babies are going to be juveniles. So look at the, can you see the sky? Can everybody see the sky above yeah. the boxes? A little bit. Wow. They didn't get the, the birds didn't get the message tonight. <laughs> Do they land on the ground too? The bats don't. If they land on the ground, they will die if they can't get picked really? up. And, and we loft them. We find oh, them and okay. loft them up. Uh -huh. If you find a bat on the ground, the safest thing to do is get a broom. Let it crawl on the broom. It will crawl on the broom. It knows you're trying to help it. And loft it into the air as hard as you can throw it. And it will take off and fly. They cannot, they will not survive if they're on the floor, on the ground. They're on the floor of the ground. They cannot take off. Look at them, still dropping. Okay, that one came over my head on from the porch. Anyway, he had the Mexican things. The Mexican free tails. And that guy told him that they all won't leave at the same time. He said about half, a third and then a third and a third. And so, so it depends. What happens is they're chunked in there. Uh -huh. They're they're just squeezed in there as tight as you can get. So the bottom ones, I think, there's more coming. They'll they'll come out until they get to where they can drop. And I, you know, they they can't they they can't take a running start. They can't take a flying start like a bird. <laughs> and just like that, the lightning bugs have commenced. <laughs> We've got some little jars on the porch. We've got some little nets on the porch. Oh, the kids got the nets. There they go. They go. They used to run them down when I was young. Yes. Get a little jar, put them in, it, run around with a bunch of light up so we can see where you go. Right. And we have to turn them loose. It continues to go. 
I'm going to remind you that there's night fishing out by the pond. We've got some fun glow-in-the-dark stuff. You can use regular worms. Um, you will continue to see the bats all over the park. They are, again, not going to get in people's hair. They're not going to come down and get you. Um, on the road, right in front of here. Listen up. On the road in front of here, we have three gentlemen, two gentlemen and a lady, I think, from, from Roper Mountain Science Center with their telescopes to show us the dark sky. And we'll drop here pretty quickly. When it goes to getting dark, it'll, it'll happen fast. Anybody questions? Yes. I know that two or three parks have one. I know that I got a second one, and Oconee got a second one, and Table Rock has more than a So, yes, the fun thing was I went to I went to Table Rock and spent the night, and theirs came out two minutes later than ours did. Well, I, you know, it just happened to be a week that I had kept track of what time they were coming out. And then I went up there in like two minutes. I was in cabin five. And cabin five has one right in front of it. And so I, they know this about me. They're like, she's that It's a great match. It is. It's fine. Um, I do. I, tend, I help them with doors and windows. I do preservation.